Our other big story, protests across America about abortion rights in America. Thousands of people here in Central Florida also hit the streets, voicing their outrage over the possibility that the Supreme Court may be about to overturn the constitutional right to an abortion. News 6's Brian Didlick was at the large protest today in downtown Orlando. Brian. Eric, there are mixed emotions about the leak from the Supreme Court's draft opinion on Roe v. Wade. Both sides passionate about their views, and that passion could be seen as as demonstrators made their voices heard here in Orlando. Take a look. A crowd of hundreds quickly turning into thousands at Orlando City Hall Saturday. We're doing this because we want to make sure you know how to get involved. Protesters joining thousands nationwide for the Bands Off Our Bodies rally. This coming after an opinion draft was leaked from the nation's highest court, suggesting the overturn of Roe v. Wade, which legalized abortion. This is really an attack to minority groups and on their growth. Um, abortion rights is, is a health care solution. It's a health care option. The pro-choice protesters argue a reversal of Roe v. Wade will set America back decades and lead to stricter legislation on items outside of abortion from immigration to LGBTQ rights, which is a reason they say led them to march. Yeah, protesters chanted from City Hall all the way to the federal courthouse to make sure that their voices were heard throughout Orlando. It'll affect low income and the poor, people of color, because they don't have the resources of wealthier people. While many among the crowd disapproved of the draft opinion, <laughs> others say the draft is a step in the right direction. We're here because we believe in justice, and we believe that it is just for these babies' lives to be protected. Pro-life protesters argued this opinion will protect all life, no matter the stage. Every single human being has inalienable worth from the moment of conception, regardless of the circumstances of their conception, whether they were conceived in rape, regardless of their race, regardless of whether they can experience pain. Organizers say no matter the outcome. We may lose, but we keep coming back and fighting till we get our rights back. Now the Supreme Court has said the draft leak was just an opinion and that decision is not final. We're live in the studio, Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6. All right, Brian, thank you. Senator Marco Rubio's office slammed his midterm opponent, Val Demings, for her stance on abortion, saying she has repeatedly voted to allow taxpayer dollars to be used for abortions. Val Demings, at a press conference today, said that she supports Roe v. Wade and offered her own criticism, saying Senator Rubio's stance is, quote, extreme. The nerve of him to say that there should be no restrictions, even including incest, rape, and abuse. Now, I think that is extreme. And it wasn't just in Central Florida. From the nation's capital to New York to L.A., thousands of people took to the streets, many pro-choice, as we told you, but also some pro-life demonstrators. If the court strikes down Roe v. Wade, about half the states are expected to ban abortion outright. This week, Senate Democrats failed to gather enough support to codify Roe v. Wade into nationwide law in case the Supreme Court overturns it. Bodies don't belong to New York State, they don't belong to the U.S., and they don't belong to the judges, they belong to us. Of course, we'll continue to stay on top of every breaking development coming out of the Supreme Court. We'll post any breaking details on our website, clickorlando.com.